Hello folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. Well today I'm going to go back into the subject of deer alerts. Several years ago I made a video about deer alerts and it came with many comments. Some said they wouldn't work but certainly we're still alive and ride all summer out here where deer are everywhere so to the skeptics I say yes to be skeptical but what if they actually do work more often than not because we all know nothing's a hundred percent right? <laughs> Now we see deer killed all the time out here in the Midwest and I figured, hey, what have I got to lose? And what if they do work? You remember this video I made? That deer heard my deer alerts luckily. But people alerts would be good too, you know. Get off the phone and keep your eye open. <laughs> okay, note that I'm not affiliated in any way with this company. I just saw this and wanted to make an honest opinion about them. You know, someone will always crash into a deer with deer alerts on and we all know it. But just the same, I pray that they do work, even if only part of the time, as it really isn't hurting me to try them. This brand new little doe is running about 45 miles per hour. It was a good run. So when I saw that there was a new kind of deer alert on the market, and that I could get several of these in a package deal, I went ahead and got four. I put one on my Goldwing, one on my wife's Honda Shadow, one on my Chrysler, and one on the Element. Well, here you are seeing pictures of it and how I mounted them and where. Since only one is needed, the recommended location is centered on the front end somewhere where it can get ram air. The specs are what really intrigued me and the design of this thing. So unless I get killed by a deer making the following shots from my Goldwing's point of view, we will see if the sound is annoying to humans and how well you can hear it at all on both the car and the cycle. So here we go. Okay folks, well most of you have seen these kind of deer alerts. Uh, they're on the market, they're pretty cheap. This is the Siren 7 right here. And they all, when you blow on them, they're going to whistle. So as you can see, each one has got a different sound. The deal is how much it blows and makes that sound with ambient air actually hitting it here. Because that's different than somebody blowing a big burst in there. It's different. The ambient air that hits it is different. And so uh, this is the one we're going to test today. And uh, it has pretty high specs for rating. 900 feet, they say, uh, that a deer or an animal can hear it. So let's go have some fun. Okay, we're going to take my old Goldwing up the road and I'm going to drive by pretty fast here and we're going to see if you can hear it on the camera. And uh, let's see what, what the Siren 7 deer alert sounds like. So here we go. I hear nothing on the bike, so I do not hear anything. 
meaning there's no annoying sounds that I would hear while riding. I couldn't hear anything on the bike and the bike's pretty quiet even with it in neutral I went by. So we'll see what you can hear on this camera. So well, there you go, that's my test kids. We've definitely established that it makes noise at all speeds. I can't really hear it on the motorcycle with the helmet on while I'm riding, but I actually could barely hear it from the side of the road when I drove by on the motorcycle. We can also barely hear it on the car when close, but like the bike, I can hear it more from a distance over the engine and wind noise. I think that's what the manufacturer was trying to do with their certain decibel level. If I could hear it, I think the deer could probably hear it even better. So, the bottom line is, no one knows if they work for sure, but I feel better with them on than with nothing. If it works once, then I figure it was worth it. If it doesn't work, I'll send a text from beyond. <laughs> well, you know, I hope they work, and even if you think they don't or know they don't, but maybe they don't work all the time either. I highly recommend you visit their website at siren7usa.com, as it does a much better way of explaining more behind this design than I did here. Maybe you'll see why then I decided to get these for myself. Stay safe, ride easy, and God bless. This is Dave the Nightflyer, signing off for now.